what is up everybody welcome back to the channel i am back after about a two week break i just got back from vacation yesterday i was in florida um and basically if you guys have heard there was a tropical storm slash hurricane and on the day that i was supposed to come back um i ended up missing my flight or my flight got canceled because of the storm um and also like my brother went home earlier than me so i was by myself and it, it was just a whole thing i didn't know if i was gonna be able to get back tomorrow because i had to fly into charlotte and yesterday the storm was supposed to hit charlotte so it, it was a whole thing i am so thankful to be back um oh my gosh i'm so happy I, it's one of those things where you just you never know if you're gonna get back and you do and it's just yeah but i'm still uh you know adjusting to being home again because i was um, at my grandma's house for 12 days so yeah but um, I am back and I am very excited because while I was gone my uh, August 1st summer Star Wars sets arrived and I am so excited this is such a great wave um, and I'm excited because I've not gotten Lego for a while if you guys have been keeping up with the channel you know it's been pretty heavy um, 3.75 inch Star Wars content um, for the past couple months and um, actually pretty much for this whole year um, if we're being honest the last time that I had really bought Lego was actually a year ago for the um, summer wave if you see in the corner over there there's the ghost and last year's summer wave I actually kept sealed um, this wave I am going to be opening um, and I'm gonna be, you know, taking some things out of my display, putting them in storage, and then putting these on display. So that's kind of my my uh, plan for this wave. Um, I just noticed there that Padme has fallen over, um, RIP. But yeah, so um, I ordered them. I, I ordered this stuff uh, while I was gone, and it arrived now. And one of the main reasons why I ordered them, or why I really wanted to jump on this wave, was because of the 25th anniversary exclusive minifigures. I know that if I had not bought the sets, I would be regretting it so hard because of all the really cool exclusive minifigures that you'll never be able to get in any other set. Um, so yeah, very happy I was able to do this. Um, basically, this whole summer I've been working for my mom. Um, my mom's an artist and she commissioned me to help her do um, this mosaic project and um, I was allowed to uh, most of the money I made from it I had to save because um, I am going to Australia here uh, in September but um, she let me keep $500 of it and that's kind of I, I was like you know what I think I'm just gonna and, you know I could use this for 3.75 inch figures and I could get a lot of them with this much money but I think what I'm going to do is I have all this money now. I'm just going to get these Lego Star Wars sets because they are expensive. Obviously, it's Lego. But I was like, if I had the money now to do it, let's do it now because I will regret it if I don't. So that's what I did. Sorry that I've been yapping. Um, I just haven't talked to you guys for a while. So I just wanted to, you know, kind of get that out there. So without further ado, let's get into what I actually got. We're only three and a half minutes into this video. Um, okay, so the first thing I did get was the micro rocket launch pad gift with purchase so yeah anytime there's like a big release day or something they usually do gift with purchases like this i forget what it was last year but i believe it, it was something maybe the black trunk cruiser maybe i don't know but um they're doing like the whole space thing and these are actually kind of neat because they come with these little micro minifigures um of a, a it looks like benny's spaceship is that i think that might be benny's spaceship is it yeah that is Oh my gosh, that is. I, I used to have Benny Spaceship. Um, and then a white one there. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I think it was like you had to spend 200 bucks or something to get that. So that's very nice. Um, now into the actual sets. Jedi Bob Starfighter. What a beautiful, beautiful set. Um, it's been anticipated uh, by a lot of people. You know, wanting a Jedi Bob minifigure. Uh... You know, I think it was the gunship, actually, people wanted it to come out in. And to finally get him is very, very cool. Um, not only that, but I love Starfighters. 
um, and I do have a Starfinder display, and I actually, I do have the rare Anakin's Custom Jedi Starfinder that this kind of takes inspiration for, from, with the engines in the front and the design and everything. And actually, something that I did notice was his color scheme is reminiscent of a gunship, with the red and the white. Um, and obviously he came out in the gunship, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then it comes up the Akbar Trooper, obviously. But I did find this one early. I found this um, at Walmart on like July 25th. Um, this is the first time I ever found a summer set early. I freaked out because I this is one of my most anticipated ones was Jedi Bob Starfighter. Um, and yeah, really, really excited about this. I'm gonna take a look in the back here. I just love the color scheme of the box and everything. I love the figures, I love the ship, everything about it. And I do think that $40 is a fair price for this. I really do. I honestly think that they could have charged $50 for it and people would still buy it. Um, so, yes. But that is the first thing we got was Jedi Bob's Starfighter. Um, the next thing, this was a set that I honestly didn't even know about um, until about a couple days before um, August 1st. But it is the Duel on Peridia. Um, really really cool um set for the main figures let's be honest nobody's looking at this set and saying oh my gosh that build i need to get it um although i do think the build is pretty cool just for like a display purpose i think it's a really cool display thing it's been getting a lot of hate and i don't think the it should be getting as much hate as it is um but yeah it's been getting quite a bit of hate and i think that the set is pretty good um the minifigures obviously are incredible. Um, unpopular opinion, but I don't mind Ezra's bray blue eyes. <laughs> I, I don't mind it. I think that it it just conveys that he had really blue eyes, and he did. Um, so, yeah, but pretty cool set. Uh, $55, I don't think is overpriced. A lot of people have been complaining that this set is way too overpriced, and I don't agree. I think that um, if you were to sell these minifigures individually on uh ebay it, you'd be spending about 15 bucks per minifigure i mean probably more for thrawn um and there's five minifigures so i think to get it all for 55 with a build is a good deal because all of these minifigures in my opinion are excellent minifigures so very cool happy i was able to pick that up the next thing we got is actually one that did not come out um in uh august 1st it actually came out may 1st I believe I, I don't know because as you guys know all year I've not been buying Lego so um, yeah but this was one that I had been wanting and then once I decided that I was gonna get this um, uh, I was gonna spend money on the August wave I was like well then I have to get this one and it is Darth Maul's Sith Infiltrator so yeah this this one came out a while ago I believe it was May 1st and I've seen it around and actually um, it had been on back order on lego.com and then it went off back order um so i was able to get it but obviously saw guerrera exclusive minifigure i actually did make myself a custom saw guerrera which i might actually do a comparison on um but yeah really cool character you know he's in he's so many different things of star wars rogue one uh fallen order the clone wars you know he's been in a lot of different things so um, they just never had really the chance to make him, so to make him in this is really cool, and he does come with cloth goods. On top of that, I've always wanted Darth Maul's Infiltrator. I think it's a really cool ship. I love the Phantom Menace, um, and from what I've seen, this is a pretty good model. Um, and yeah, the minifigures are great as well. Um, for a lot of people, this was a way for them to get their very first Qui-Gon Jinn, because it's been a long time since we've gotten a Qui-Gon. But I actually do have Qui-Gon from the... Uh, Duel on Naboo set, I believe. I believe they were on Naboo. Whenever um, Maul kills him. Um, I have that set, but it'd be really cool to put this next to it, so I'll probably end up doing that. Um, and then the little Anakin is pretty cool as well. So overall, I just think it's a good set. And $70, um, you would think it'd be overpriced, but whenever you see this set I'm going to bring up next, this looks like a good deal. Because the next set I got, probably already guessed it just for me saying that, was one I'm actually very, very excited for. It is the Desert Skiff and Sarlacc Pit. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of controversy on this set, obviously, because it is almost $100. It's $80. 
um, for 558 pieces and two little builds basically um, but <laughs> for some reason I love this set and because money kind of wasn't an issue in this case I don't have any regret buying this because <laughs> I kind of was just looking at it like if if I had not just been paid 500 bucks and I you know had to work up my way to get 80 dollars and I I would kind of have not buyer's remorse but I kind of I feel like I kind of got a little bit scammed if I had just went out and bought this for 80 dollars but because in my case which I know is I, I was in a very um, blessed case where I did not have to worry about the money um I look at this and I'm just I'm just happy I, I don't look I don't look at it based off of the price it is but I do understand that you know if if I were to have gone out and had to work um specifically $80 for this set then yeah I would be like okay why is this $80 but that being said I think that the minifigures are perfect um Ninum that's what I call them I know it's nine num everybody's like it's nine none because the, the letters are are uh mixed up from the word nine but growing up I, I always called him Ninum um so <laughs> yeah but getting him as a minifigure is so cool and i know that this one will stay exclusive actually that's one thing i know these say that they're exclusive but does that mean they can come out in another set like see with lego you don't you know the word exclusive doesn't always mean the same thing as you think it means um but either way i'm just i'm so happy to have that minifigure growing up i had an action figure of nina but i play with it all the time so really cool to get the minifigure there um, the Boba Fett with the arm printing, I think is incredible. There's been controversy about him being the wrong Boba Fett. I could give two craps about that. I don't care. I just want a Boba Fett with arm printing. And I do have the Boba Fett from the 20th anniversary, um, Slave 1, that does have the, um, cloth cape. So I'll probably just give that to him. Um, but yeah. And then the Luke Skywalker and the Lando are also some standout minifigures for me here. But what, why I really love this set is because it reminds me of the Lego Star, Star Wars um, Complete Saga um, game. Because I remember whenever I lived in California, that was the game I always played. And I played this mission specifically where they have um, Luke, you know, on the desert skiff. And he's about to jump into the Sarlacc pit. And I believe he backflips and does not jump in. Um, I could be thinking that completely wrong. But either way... That's just what this reminds me of, and I'm really excited about it. One thing I will say, though, is since my order was so big, um, the box, and, and it, it had been raining as well, the box that all these sets came in got a little bit damaged, and so did this set. Um, as you can see right here, there's a little bit of a dent, and it's kind of bulging out on the side there. Um, so, unfortunately, I won't really be able to... I mean, I, I can save the box, but if I ever try to resell this set, the box isn't going to obviously be damaged a little bit um but oh yeah did lando fall off see i i gotta re-watch the originals i had watched the originals um quite a few times when i was younger um but i don't watch them like i watch the prequels like the prequels i, I watch everything you know i watch the prequels once a year at least um but my my main knowledge of the original trilogy is through the <laughs> complete saga believe it or not because that's i played through that way more times than i've watched the movie um and then on this side it's also a little bit bulged out right here yeah it's, there's a definite crater but i'm gonna open it so that's i'm thankful that i'm opening it because if i was not opening it i'd be pretty upset about that but yeah i'm opening it so the next thing is another set that did not come out this summer it actually came out i believe in may as well and it's one that I have been looking at for a long time for this specific minifigure, the exclusive minifigure, um, but just didn't want to pay the price. But now I have a reason to. And it is the R2-D2 um, set. What is this called? R2-D2. Yeah. So, um, yeah, obviously Darth Malak. I love Knights of, Knights of the Old Republic. It's my favorite uh, video game series. I want to say of all time, but then Red Dead Redemption exists, so I'd say it's top two. Um, and I'm actually replaying KOTOR 2 right now. So Darth Malak is just such a cool figure. Obviously, I don't have Darth Revan from the... What was he? 
he was, uh, I don't remember what exclusive he was. I used to have it memorized, but I forget. Um, but he, he was, oh, M May the 4th. That's, that's it. He was a May the 4th exclusive. Um, so obviously I missed out on him, but I'm not going to miss out on North Revan. I, I know that if I missed out on North Revan, I'd never, I, I'd never get over it, you know? So I'm so glad that I finally bit the bullet. Um, a hundred dollars for this set. I've heard is actually really, the, the set is really good. Obviously they made the $200 R2 uh, a few years back. And I've actually heard that this smaller one is better, so that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, a lot of people hadn't bought this set be because they were like, well, I'm really only buying it for the Darth Mount because people don't really care for the R2, but you'll see why I got the R2, like why I finally decided to bite the bullet on this. But um, also, if you look on eBay, Mallet goes for like $80, which is crazy to me because I'm like, you could literally get a whole 1,500 pieces for 20 bucks more if you just spend $100 on the actual set. So, anyways, yeah, I just went ahead and got this as well because, like I said, I've not been buying Lego, so I never picked this one up. Um, the next thing goes hand in hand with this, and it is the C-3PO notable figure. Oh my gosh, this is big. Um, so yeah, this came out August 1st, obviously. And whenever I saw the photos of this and saw displays of him next to R2, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. You know, it's a it's a pretty cool thing. Um, the thing about these billable figures is they can kind of look creepy at times, um, such as Yoda and Chewbacca. But with C-3PO, I feel like it makes sense because he is a robot and, you know, he's a droid. So to make a buildable droid, I feel like that makes sense rather than Chewbacca. But... <laughs> Um, yeah, I think he looks great, and I've seen in multiple videos, like I said, um, he is really, he scales well next to R2, so I'm gonna have those guys stand next to each other, and he also comes with a really cool, um, C-3PO minifigure with arm printing and stuff, um, again, just knocking it out of the park this year with these really cool, well done minifigures, um, I believe this set was 140, yeah, oh, look at that, so cool. Yeah, it's like a UCS C-3PO, basically. So, that is really cool to me, and I am excited to build that and have that next to R2. And the last set I got was one I'm super duper excited for, and you probably could guess what it was based off of what I've been saying about the exclusive minifigures this whole video, but I got the Imperial Star Destroyer. Um, obviously this is just an incredible set, um, because it's a Star Destroyer, obviously, and people are saying it's downscaled compared to other Star Destroyers, but what I've heard, it's only by a couple studs, like, um, lengthwise, it's not, I mean, people are acting like it's, like, a micro scale, it's only by a few studs, and I've also heard that this is just such a more updated and advanced model of the Star Destroyer. I actually don't have any Star Destroyer sets, um, of anything. So to finally get one is, is really, really cool. I remember whenever I was little, I had a babysitter who had the, was it the 2014 Star Destroyer? I, it, it was the one that before this, the latest play scale one before this one. Um, she had it and I went over to her house and I saw it and I was like, that is so cool. Like I, I wanted it. <laughs> um, so to get one now is really cool. And the minifigures it comes with are, I mean, I think that's a great selection of minifigures as is, but then Obviously, the highlight of this set for me is the 25th year anniversary Cal Kestis minifigure. I love Fallen Order. I actually, here's my top three f favorite video game franchises. KOTOR, um, the Jedi series, so Jedi Fallen Order, Jedi Survivor, and Red Dead. I love the story of Cal Kestis so, so far. I'm so excited for the third game to come out. Um, and obviously, I mean... There's my custom Mantis crew, Mantis from, um, I have the crew from Jedi Fallen Order and Jedi Survivor. Um, I've put a lot of time and effort and work and thought into making custom, um, you know, Jedi stuff. So to get an official Cal Kestis is really cool and obviously I had to get it. One thing I will say is on the box art, um, I, I think the minifigures is perfect. I think it's, it's a great minifigure, except... For the hairpiece on the box art, it looks like it's that like nougat kind of color, but I did see a video and it is actually red. So that's something that I am happy about because 
I mean, he's a redhead, you know, he's, he's not blonde, he has red hair, so, um, the box art does not do that justice. They could have done, to make the figure absolutely perfect, they could have done the, um, swept back hair, because in Fallen Order his hair was, like, directly swept back down the middle, not the side, like, how that hair piece is, but, I mean, either way, everybody who makes a custom of him does that hair piece, so, it's fine. Um, but yeah. Really, really good set. Really cool set. I am excited to build this. Um, and yeah. So that is my haul. Actually, there is one more thing. Um, with all these exclusive minifigures and everything, I really wanted to have a place to display them. So I did get another minifigure display case, which I am so thankful that I got. Because my one up in the corner there, I don't know if you see it up there, um, it is full. And I do have fives in there. So, so if I have fives, that means that there's two 25th anniversary figures that I don't have, uh, that being Leia Organa, and then the one that hasn't came out yet of the pink droid, which I don't know if I'm going to end up picking up Leia just because I don't really care much for the figure or the character. I don't know. I mean, Kenobi was not really well recepted. I, I did like Kenobi, but Leia in particular, I didn't really understand her point in being in the story. Um, but, yeah, and then the pink, uh, R2 unit that's gonna be coming out later this year, I probably will end up picking up at some point, just because it's a really good battle pack, um, anyways, and I do like the pink droid. But yeah, um, and then also the Dark Millennium Falcon, for some reason it instantly went on back order. I wasn't even planning on getting it, um, like, right, you know, in August 1st, um, but it, it went on back order, um, uh, right away. You can get it on Amazon stuff, though, so that's why I don't understand. It's not like they didn't have them, um, because Amazon has them. Um, but I do want to end up getting that one at some point, because the minifigures in that one are incredible as well. And the look of the black Millennium Falcon just looks so cool. Um, but yeah. Man, I am so blessed and thankful for everything I was able to pick up, um, for this way. This is my biggest haul ever, Lego-wise, um like most uh, sets bought in one go and i am just so blessed and thankful for it um and yeah i'm glad that i'm able to get you guys some more little content because it's really been uh been been scarce this year but yeah so i am excited to get building on these sets um to get these exclusive mini figures in this case and and everything like that so anyways guys if you did enjoy the video make sure to hit like and i'll see you in the next one peace